Hi, welcome back to Engineer U Space. I'm Isabel. It's time for the final part of my dining room makeover. I had a lot of fun making my banquette, but I still needed to do something about this big blank wall. So I built wall panels to frame out the banquette and I added wall sconces and art that I made. I can't wait to show you how I put the whole thing together, so let's get started. Before I get into how I built the panels, here's a quick recap of what I've done already in the dining room. I gave a facelift to inexpensive table and chairs from Ikea. I built a banquette by first making a bench and then making an upholstered back panel. The plan for the wall is to build three wall panels. The two side panels will have wall sconces and art will go on the middle panel. I made the panels using two 4 feet by 8 feet sheets of a quarter inch plywood and one by two pine boards, all of which I had cut at the hardware store. It's really important to use straight 1x2s for this project, so double check that they're straight on all sides. Now the process for building all the panels is the same. Using wood glue, I attached the narrow side of the 1x2s to the panel, flush with the edge. I clamped it in place using a piece of scrap wood to help transfer the force of the clamps evenly over the entire panel. This will give a nice tight seam. I did this for all the panels, but I left the bottom of the side panels open for the cords from the wall sconces. I added screws at the corners to reinforce the frames using a countersink drill bit to be able to hide the screw heads with wood filler. Then I sanded down all the edges. I could have left the panels as is and just leave the wood, but I found this beautiful grass cloth that I just fell in love with. It has a nice shiny reflective texture and I just had to cover my panels with it. So to do that, I first primed the panels with wall covering primer. Then I cut the wallpaper long enough and wide enough to cover the sides with about one inch of overhang. I made a very sharp crease along the edges and then I cut the corners of the grass cloth like this to make it easy to wrap around the sides. I then applied a water-based non-staining wallpaper glue to the back, using outward strokes at the edges to prevent glue from getting on the front of the grass cloth. I waited a few minutes until the glue was tacky and then I placed the grass cloth onto the panel, lining up the sides and smoothing out the wrinkles with my hands first and then taking out the air bubbles with a plastic card. A credit card would work well for this too. For the sides, I held down the grass cloth section by section to help it bond. After it's set in place, I cut off the excess with a utility knife. For the middle panel, I primed the panel, painted the frame and covered the inside with grass cloth using a utility knife to trim off the excess on the sides. This part is completely optional, but I wanted to give a more finished look to the outside of my panels, so I added some molding. Now the molding that I needed to use wasn't really standard at one and three quarters of an inch wide, so I had my molding cut from a three quarter inch plywood sheet and finished the edge with iron-on edging. I sanded everything, painted them to match the middle frame, and then I screwed them on onto the outside of the panels. To hang my panels, I used a French cleat. You'll want to secure it to a stud or use anchors that are appropriate for your wall. Now it's time for accessorizing the panels. Now I wanted to add a little bit of mood lighting to my dining room, so I decided to install my wall sconces that I had made for my New York apartment. To be able to hide the cord, I needed to make a hole in the panel. So to do that, I first mark where my hole needs to be, and in the center, I drilled a pilot hole. I then drilled another pilot hole in a scrap piece of wood and lining up the two pilot holes, I clamped the scrap piece on top of the panel. I used an inch and a half hole saw bit to make the hole, using the pilot hole as a guide and keeping the bit as straight as possible while drilling. The scrap piece of wood helps prevent fraying and splitting at the edges. I cut out the wallpaper to pass the cord through the hole, turning on the switch. And then I used bolts to secure the wall sconces to the panel. Because the switches are hidden behind the panels, I used a wireless wall switch and receiver. You plug the receiver into the wall and plug the lamps into the receiver, and then you can turn on the lamps using this wall switch placed anywhere in the room. I used a temporary double-sided adhesive strip from glue dots to hang my switch so that I could easily take it off later. The last thing that was missing is some artwork for the middle panel and I had no more money left in the budget for that. So I ended up making my own using some free driftwood that I found on the beach. To make it, I stapled a piece of sandpaper to a piece of wood to sand down a flat surface on the driftwood. 
and I used liquid nails to glue all the driftwood to a piece of plywood that I had left over from the panels. I love the wood tones and the texture from the driftwood. It really was the perfect finishing touch to my dining room makeover, taking it from drab and boring to a warm and inviting place to entertain friends. Well, that's it for today's episode. If you're interested in seeing how I made my banquette or how I made my wall sconces, you can click on the annotations here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And you can always find more DIY ideas and tips on my website, engineeryourspace.com. See you next time.